Now the crop tool was completely redone for Photoshop CS6. So a lot of people who are coming from CS5 are getting this uh, absolutely new dialog box. You get there by pressing C and that brings you to this, the crop tool. If you liked the old uh, version, you can always click here and go to use classic mode. But let me suggest you use the new mode because it's a hundred times better. However, if there's some wonkiness that you feel with it, for instance, you don't like the way that it uh, recenters things, you can make it so uh, that turns off just by going here and hitting auto center preview. Uh, there's also things like show cropped area or don't show cropped area, use crop shield or don't use crop shield. You can set the color of the crop shield if you want, uh, how opaque it is. This area, by the way, is called the crop shield. Uh, and that's how it works. The other fun feature of it uh, is you can do a grid, you can do diagonals, you can do triangles, golden ratio. Seems like overkill to me. I'm sure other people absolutely love it. I don't judge. Uh, but let me just show you how it works really quickly. Um, you click and drag and you press enter and that crops your image down to that size uh, and you have the option of either deleting the cropped pixels so I'm gonna leave that off and use the move tool just by pressing V and you can notice that those uh, pixels outside of the uh, canvas uh, border aren't deleted or if you go to delete cropped uh, pixels uh, then you can actually delete the pixels outside of the border. Something that's really nice here is if you want to set the image to a specific size. So let's say 50 pixels by 100 pixels. You can constrain the pro pro proportions uh, so it will always go to exactly that size. Uh, now what you might happen is you might type in 50 by 100 and instead of getting pixels, there we go, 50 by 100 pixels. So let's type in... Um, Let's type in uh, 50 by 100. What might happen is you type in 50 by 100, and rather than it going to 50 by 100 pixels, it goes to 50 by 100 inches. That isn't particularly helpful for you. In order to solve that, all you need to do is hit in 50 px by 100 px, and px stands for pixels. You could type out the entire word pixels, but why waste your time with that? Uh, and you can also constrain it to things like 5 by 7, 4 by 3, 8 and a half by 11 and it will do that for you, and it will love you. Uh, the other thing that you can do with the crop tool is you can use the straighten tool right here, and all you do here is you just draw a line with what you want to be straightened, you click enter, you say okay, and it straightens the image accordingly. la di da Now I wanted to show you one other thing, uh, and these boxes over here, are just this is the equivalent of hitting, uh, you know, go to all. This is basically hitting escape, and this is hitting enter. They're not very fancy options. I wanted to show you one other thing, and that's the perspective crop tool. And no, don't crop. And what the perspective crop tool allows you to do is it allows you to click and drag, and then move around the individual corners. So let's in move around these individual corners. There we go, and there we go. And then when we hit enter it will make it so it works like that. So it basically gets rid of all that perspective. It looks like I did it a little bit wrong. So I'm just going to bring this out somewhat and move this corner here. Hit enter again. And that's much more of what we're looking for right there. So the crop tool, the perspective crop tool is great for that.